The yellow jersey, the maillot jaune. This is the big one, the jersey worn by the leader of the Tour de France. It's awarded to the rider who has the lowest aggregate time and is ultimately won by the rider who took the least amount of time to complete all the stages. It's important to remember that stage finishing positions are not taken into consideration. This contest is often known as the General Classification, or GC. To win the yellow jersey, a rider must be able to scale the mountains with the very best climbers, but also be exceedingly strong in the time trials. The holy grail for these guys is the balance between sustainable power and body weight, which is the determining factor on one's ability to climb. To achieve this, they often sacrifice any ability to sprint, but this is all done in the name of cycling's ultimate prize. €450,000 is awarded to the winner of the yellow jersey, making it by far the richest prize in pro cycling. The green jersey, the Mayo Vert. The green jersey was first introduced in 1953 to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Tour de France and is awarded to the winner of the points classification. This is a measure of a rider's consistency in stage finishing positions and intermediate sprints along the route, of which there is one per day. In reality then, it's normally won by a sprinter who can amass a large number of points with consistent finishing positions. Along the course profile, you'll notice a point on the map marked by a green S. These are called intermediate sprints, and the first 15 riders to cross the line here earn points towards the green jersey classification. The highest number of points available on each stage, however, are at the finish. The points on offer are weighted to favour the flat stages, where 45 points will be given to the stage winner. On mountaintop finishes, the winner receives just 20. This ensures that the Maya Vert is generally won by a sprinter, although GC riders can often finish high up in particularly hilly tours. The polka dot jersey, the Maya à point. Awarded to the winner of the Best Climber competition, it was first introduced in 1933. Similar to the green jersey, the King of the Mountains is decided on a points-based system. These points can be picked up on certain climbs en route. All the significant hills and mountains are given a rating based on their difficulty, with Category 4s being the easiest, all the way up to the very hardest, the ore category, of which there are only a handful each year. Naturally, more points are available to riders who reach the summit of the big climbs, with 25 points available to the first rider over the top of Alpe d'Huez, an HC, compared with just one point at the top of the Côte de Luzanne, for example, a fourth cap. While it always helps to have a strong team, contenders for the King of the Mountains largely tend to work as individuals, taking their chances in the breakaways on medium and high mountain stages to hoover up points on the early climbs before the GC riders come to the fore closer to the finish. The Frenchman Richard Veronque has won the most polka dot jerseys, taking seven between 1994 and 2004. The white jersey, the Maillot Blanc. Established in 1975, this classification is only open to riders aged 25 and under. It's essentially a junior version of the general classification. This is a contest often overlooked in the grand scheme of the Tour de France, but there is still plenty of prestige that comes with the Maillot Blanc, along with a €20,000 prize. It's traditionally been hard to graduate from winning the Maillot Blanc to the Maillot Jaune, however in recent years both Alberto Contador and Andy Schleck have both managed this. 1977, 48 seconds. Bernard Thévenet won his second Tour de France in three years, seeing off some formidable opponents such as Eddie Merckx, Joop Zotemelk 